God give me credit, I haven't had a single donut and Lord knows how long. And you know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. Yay for the Gatlinburg Husky, right? But man, it's hard. It's hard for head. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, I'm stepping away. Hello, hello. Bob around and show you what's going on in town as I'm doing errands. And I had just a great time yesterday, just walking around, pretty much not doing anything. With Brent and his family, and then with uh, Jeremy and Stephanie. So I made the right choice to wait until today, which is Monday morning, to go grocery shopping to avoid the madness that was going on yesterday. So, bravo to me for at least two minutes. Docked up, got my rice cakes, I've got my broccoli. Saying I've got my rice cakes. I've got a big thing of lemon to put in the water. Got my broccoli, I've got my chicken back there, I've got my blueberries, my 9,000 rice cake for um, snacks, plenty of eggs, even if they're $9 a for a gallon, a gallon a carton. Pricey, baby, pricey. But hey, it's all good. <laughs> my goodness, so here I am unloading my groceries, and there's a, a, what do you call them, a bag, my a cart guy, just standing there tapping his foot waiting for me to unload the cart so we can take it, and I'm like, I'm good, leave me alone, I felt rushed, I'm like, okay, I gotta do this fast, just, just go away, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not kidding, he's standing there practically like tapping his foot waiting for me, I'm like, I've got this, please go away, and there's a, there's a buggy cart, right? over there and I'm like oh my god come on now it, is it that slow to where you gotta I've, I've god I felt rushed I'm like oh my god I gotta do this fast <laughs> honk honk people telling <laughs> you move come on wake up while they're at the light we all do it well, the light just dazed and confused until someone behind you honked the horn to wake you up. So, when I go to Food City, I always kind of look around and see if they're out-of-towners so I can help them with my value card. I will say, hey, 
do you have a card? And they say, no, most of the time. I said, here, use my card, right, to help them out. Save a few dollars, right? I just did that leaving, and for the first time, it was blinking, tap it, yellow light, yes. For the first time, it was blinking a big X, like, no, you know, you can't do this. So I, I don't know if it was a one-time thing, but that's pretty crappy if Food City doesn't, won't let you help other people with their groceries. I hope it's just a one-time thing, but I was kind of bummed out because they were a family with a lot of food, and it would have saved them well over $10, $15 at least. So I'm bummed out about that, but hey, at least I tried. So that is, you know, maybe I can pass this along that, hey, if you're at a grocery store and you kind of look around and you, you see a family, um, if you think of it, just ask them, hey, do they have a value card or whatever? And if not, just offer to help them with it. That's my little two cents for the day there, guys. Pass it on. <laughs> Here we go, happy Monday. I would say it's gonna be a little slow tonight. And that is fine with me. This is when I'm happy I'm not a server, and this is why, because we depend on tips, and when it's busy, you make great money. When it's slow like this, and you get a few tables, if any, on a night like this will be, you're not going to make any money. So at least with this job that I have right now, at least... I'm guaranteed a paycheck every week. So that's the one great way to look at things, which I do. So I'm, I'm very fortunate. Yes, I gripe and I moan. That's what I do. But I'm also grateful and fortunate that I do have this job to where every Thursday I'm going to receive a certain amount of money in my bank account, whether it's slow, whether it's busy. So, a lot of people don't know that servers here in Gatlinburg, in Tennessee for that matter, I believe, just in this spot here, uh, they make two thirteen an hour. $2.13 per hour. So, of course, they do depend on tips. And if you get a paycheck, it might be a few dollars, if, if any. So that's why... I always encourage everybody to tip, tip, tip when they go out to eat. Now some places, um, some states, some cities, they make $10 an hour. So they, what they do is they, a lot of places, you know, you have the option, would you rather work for the tips or something per hour? And I would much rather work for the tips because you can make 10 times in tips in just a few hours than if you were there for, say, an eight hour shift and make $80. But if you're making tips for eight 
hours, you might be making $20 per table or $20 per hour in tips. So that's why I always encourage everyone to please tip their servers. Wow. Thanks for the turn signal. You see why I'm paranoid driving in this town? <laughs> we all remember the white truck from about a month ago who almost plowed into me. People don't pay attention. They're looking at the mountains. Oh, look at this, look at that. There's another mountain. My mother used to say, they're everywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. Park the car, then go around and point. Ooh, ah. That's how so many accidents happen. The carelessness. The stupidity. Guys, I've got a few minutes. I'm just gonna drive up here to see what's going on and make a U-turn. My friend Brent from Everyday Saturday. Guys, Brent, you see that the visitor center? down that way.
okay, on one hand, you know, it's nice to be able to go to certain parts of the park while they're not as crowded, but because of the snow and the ice, a lot of the, the roads are closed, so you're not able to get there, unfortunately. So it's a uh, kind of back and forth thing.